What is going on everybody? For those who don't know, I go by VLSG and this is another Sixers Bros Game video. If you guys are new to this channel and love talking Philly sports nearly every single day, go down below and hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you guys are instantly notified whenever I upload a new video. Now last night the Philadelphia 76ers fell to the Washington Wizards by a final score of 122 to 114. And now the Sixers still take the lead in the series but only take a 3-2-1 lead in the first round. And man, 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 we have mainly three things to talk about on why the Sixers lost this game last night. And just please help me out, guys. Just smash that like button for me because I was PO'd at Doc Rivers last night with the rotations and just why he wasn't doing what would work on the floor. So just smash the like button. It really goes a long way. Now let's just jump right into it. So, like I said before, there are three reasons why the Sixers lost this game. Number one was Doc Rivers with the rotations. Number two was Ben Simmons on the free throw shooting. And number three was the refs. So let's just jump right into this. So, let's just get into it. So, Doc Rivers, we're gonna start on Doc Rivers' hand. Doc Rivers, Literally played the worst coaching that I have seen as a Philadelphia 76ers fan in this 2020 to 2021 NBA season. This was the worst coaching I've ever seen from Doc Rivers in my entire life as a Sixers fan. He doesn't rotate the right guys in. He keeps Ben Simmons in when he is in foul trouble. He has four fouls, picked up his fifth, and one more, and he would have been fouled out of the game. And Dwight Howard, he keeps him in when Dwight Howard's got three fouls, and he throws in Mike Scott. It, that is just disappointing coaching by Doc Rivers. And Doc Rivers literally said on the post game that, oh, we want Ben Simmons to score more than what he averages per game. We need him to score 30 plus points on the floor. Doc Rivers, if you're watching this right now, Ben Simmons, we do not ask Ben Simmons to go for 40 points. He is not a 40-point player. All we ask from Benjamin David Simmons is 15 to 20 points a game. And Doc Rivers also says on his post game that if you're going to want to go ahead and bench Ben, come let me know. Really, Doc? You're really going to think that the Philadelphia 76ers are going to bench Ben Simmons? Are you kidding me, Doc? That is ridiculous. That is Stupid, and that is not happening in a million years. Ben Simmons will always be a starter for life. And before we get rest into the rest of this business, prayers up for Joel Embiid, man. Hopefully he'll be okay. He went to MRI around 11 o'clock this morning. Hopefully he'll be all right. And if he doesn't return for game five, hopefully Dwight Howard, and I hate to say it, but Mike Scott end up taking his place and just hope that the Philadelphia 76ers will take over at 100% capacity tomorrow at the Wells Fargo Center. So anyway, let's just jump right back into the normal diet. Doc Rivers, he coached terribly last night. The rotations were horrible. The way he brought guys in and out were horrible. He was horrible from every angle of his coaching. He sucked. And especially the fact that Doc Rivers still rolls with the all-bench lineup of Dwight Howard, Furkan Korkmaz, Matisse Thybul, George Hill, and Tyrese Maxey. You can kind of rotate some of these guys in and out, but really, Doc, why are we still going with the all-bench lineup when it doesn't work? Come on, Doc. If you're going to roll with most of the bench pieces, get a starter in like Tobias. Even though Tobias only shot 33% of the from the field, which is unacceptable, Doc still needs to be better on the rotations. It is stupid, and Doc Rivers has got to step up in rotating these guys in and out. It is ridiculous how he kept Joel Embiid in for most of, if not the whole first quarter, of when Joel Embiid had his minutes. If Joel Embiid did not get injured, and if Doc Rivers would have took him onto the bench way earlier than when he got injured, 
which if I'm not mistaken, there was around like in between two or four minutes to go in the first quarter. If Doc would have done that, Joel and B would not have to be in this situation and getting an MRI. And now, we got JoJo on MRI. Maybe you're going to miss game number five at home at the Wells Fargo in front of all of the fans at 100% capacity. So, Doc Rivers, you got to step up on how you rotate your starters and your bench pieces. You need to be wiser in all those categories, Doc. Like, this, is, this isn't this is rocket science. I could literally bring in Paul Reed, and he would put up more points than Mike Scott when Joel Embiid went out. Mike Scott had to literally waste his time and go 0 for 4 from the field, and it is just ridiculous on how Doc Rivers literally rotates Mike Scott in for Joel Embiid. Come on, Doc. Mike Scott is not going to do, excuse my language, Mike Scott is not going to do shit for this team. Mike Scott is not going to do shit. And Dwight Howard, he had three personals. I understand Dwight had three personals. Let Ben Simmons play the five. Ben Simmons can play the five. Why are you not rolling with Ben Simmons and why are you rolling with Mike Scott to play the five? Ben Simmons can play the five. I don't care if Ben Simmons was in foul trouble. All that matters is that Ben Simmons would have made a better five than Mike Scott. Because Mike Scott was garbage on the floor no matter what category you put it in. And Doc Rivers was being garbage all game long. Now let's just go to Ben Simmons real quick. And Doc, you have to make your coaching better. So anyway, let's go to Ben Simmons real quick. Ben Simmons, you have got, I repeat, you have got to step the, once again, excuse my language, Doc, Ben Simmons, you have got to step the hell up on the free throw shooting. This is getting too old. I cannot help Ben Simmons on literally getting fouled constantly and constantly and constantly and going either 1 for 2 or 0 for 2 from the free throw line. It is just too old at this point. But Ben Simmons, you have got to be better on the free throw shooting, bro. Like, I can't just stand around and watch you shoot 1 for 2 or 0 for 2. I would rather have you make a free throw than none. I would rather have you make one free throw instead of zero. And I don't even care what Doc Rivers said about Ben Simmons. He said that Ben Simmons was going to be, is going to have to be a 40-point scorer as a starter. God, we do not expect 40-point games by Ben Simmons. When was the last time that Ben Simmons had a 40-point game all season? He didn't. He had like 20 points, 15 points, 25 points. He never had a 40-point game anyways. And Ben Simmons is not going to put up 40 because he doesn't shoot the three-pointer jumpers. So it makes sense that Ben Simmons is literally not going to get 40 points a game. All that we're asking for is Ben Simmons to put at least 15 to 20 points on the floor. Come on, Doc. At this point, it's getting so old with Doc Rivers, with the rotations. Paul Reed did not take the spot for Ben Simmons or Joel Embiid, depending on where you would have put him. Because I would have played Paul Reed over Mike Scott the five. I would have played Ben Simmons over Mike Scott the five. But really, Doc, you're going to throw in Mike Scott, the guy who is not going to get minutes in the playoffs, minutes that mean something to this game. Come on, Doc. And Tobias Harris, once again, he's got to be better, man. 8 for 24 from the field is not going to cut. That is just 33% by Tobias Harris. That must never happen again by Tobias. Tobias really needs to step up on the three-point shooting and from the field and from wherever he is shooting the ball from, he has really got to step it up. Seth Curry and Danny Green... They struggled really, they really did not get anything going, and they really just could not find the way to put their shots in. Even though Danny Green had a few clutch shots and so did Seth Curry, I just didn't see anything happen with these guys apart from that. Now, we're going to talk about the bench rotation real quick. Doc Rivers, you throw in Tyrese Maxey, George Hill, Matisse Thibel, Furkan Korkmaz, and a mix of Dwight Howard and Mike Scott. And sooner and later, Tyrese Maxey, George Hill, and Matisse Thibel are all doing good. And you know what you do, Doc? You send them to the bench. Why are you sending them to the bench when they are shooting so well? Make it make sense. Deal with what works. 
This is not rocket science. This is simple, Doc. You were a coach for the LA Clippers. Where was all this LA Clippers magic in Philadelphia? This doesn't make sense. I get that there are different players. Oh, Doc Rivers is in a different city. He needs to get used to the organization. Doc Rivers should have gotten used to this a long time ago. And Doc Rivers should be better on the rotations, keeping Maxi, George Hill, and Matisse Thibel all in the game because they were shooting well. Matisse did very good offensively, and I will give a round of applause for Matisse, Maxi, and George Hill for being really decent bench pieces. So, it's just got to be better on the rotations from Doc. Now, let's talk about the reps. The reps were calling so many ticky tacky fouls that he called four on Ben, he called three on Dwight. He had. They were calling so many fouls that were literally meaningless, and Doc Rivers was literally all PO'd about it and literally didn't give a damn about it. Excuse my language again, but it's true. I gotta. I gotta use that language because I am so PO'd about last night's performance. It's just unacceptable, man. We gotta really step it up. We have to win game five. And if Joe Embiid does not play, Dwight Howard must go off off the bench. And Ben Simmons, if Dwight or Mike Scott do not end up playing the five, Ben Simmons has gotta play the five. And someone needs to step up to point guard for Ben Simmons and we just have to be better on the rotations we need to be better on how we rotate our guys in when they're in foul trouble we just have got to be better on both sides of the ball we have got to be better when we go to 100% capacity for our next game tomorrow game five against the Washington Wizards and we just got to have our 7 foot 280 pound center back in the game to make sure that we can seal this up, give Joel so much rest, and play against the Hawks second round, and as he will be rested up and ready to go second round, possibly against Clint Capella. You guys give me all your thoughts down below in the comment section. How did you feel about last night's game? How did you feel about Doc's rotations and post game? How did you feel about Ben Simmons not being able to shoot over 50% from the free throw line? And how do you feel about Tobias? not knocking the shots down. And how did you feel about the refs calling 57 fouls? That was like the most fouls in a NBA game since somewhere in the 1990s with the Suns and the Jazz. All the way back in the 1990s was when they had 52 fouls combined. And it was just ridiculous. So, give me all your thoughts down below. Let's just Strike back on the Wells Fargo Center tomorrow. Knock out the Wizards. Give Joel all the rest he needs if he plays. And let's just get this done. Again, sorry for all the cursing and language that I used. But I had to do it because that was just an unacceptable performance by Doc Rivers, Ben Simmons, and the refs. But I don't care. I had to do it. I had to do it because I was so pissed off about last night. I can't help it. Doc Rivers... Needs to step up on the coaching. Ben Simmons needs to get burned on the free throw shooting. Tobias Harris must get better from the field and from behind the arc. Seth Curry and Dean Green need to both be aggressive. Ben Simmons was being aggressive. They were all getting down. They were all moving. So, just give me all your thoughts down below in the comments section. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.